Hello and welcome to this channel. A couple of days ago, Google announced Flutter 1.20 and there are some major changes inside the Flutter. So in this video, I'm going to go through some of the most important updates in the Flutter. The first one is auto import. If you are working with Visual Studio Code and if you transfer a file to a different folder, you had to add and change the path manually but with this update it is done automatically as you can see here another change is adding dev tools to the visual studio code the dev tools is a great tool to analyze your application which is already available in the android studio now you can access it in the visual studio code to enable the dev tools in Visual Studio Code, you go to the settings and you search for embed and then you enable Dart Preview Embedded Dev Tools. And then you can see the dev tools for your application. Another interesting update is a new widget which is called Interactive Viewer. This is really interesting and useful if you are trying to add drag to pan or pinching to zoom. In the documentation, there is an example. And if you run this example, you have this application and you can drag it with the mouse or you can zoom using your scroll wheel on the mouse which is similar to pinch to zoom in the mobile phone so if you are trying to create an application that uses drag and drop for functionality and pinch to zoom this is really interesting and easy to use widget the next update is autofill using autofill you can add the autofill to your application and it will be easy for users to fill the text box using the autofill feature. The next one is related to Flutter for desktop. Now you have the support for mouse in the Flutter for desktop and as you move the mouse it changes the shape based on the widgets in your application. The next one is updates to some widgets. For example, slider, this is how it looks like now, and range slider, time picker, and date picker. This is the date picker. You can add this to your application. These are not new widgets. These are already available widgets that are updated in this version and for time picker you can have this user interface in your application and the last updated feature is new license page now you can have the license page and the detailed license in your application these were some of the most important major updates in Flutter 1.2. So how do you know what version of Flutter you are running on your computer and how to upgrade it? You go to the command prompt, whether you have Windows, Linux, or Mac, and first you type Flutter Doctor. This shows you some statistics and status of the flutter on your computer and you can see here that currently I'm on the stable channel version 1.17 to upgrade your flutter version you type flutter upgrade and this will upgrade your flutter to the latest stable version which is 1.2 I will link the details for most important updates of this Flutter version in the video description. You can check the features if you like. That's it for this video. I will see you in the next one.